Irish Rail has urged better vigilance from metal dealers and scrapyards for people trying to sell copper and other precious cable. The call follows the theft of cable on the Kildare to Newbridge line this morning, which led to lengthy delays for commuters travelling in and out of Houston station. It was a morning to forget for train users trying to use one of the country's busiest railway hubs. An overnight attack by vandals on signalling equipment between Newbridge and Kildare paralysed the services to and from Houston, leaving hundreds of people late. So, you know, I, I had to be in work for nine, like, you know, but sure I didn't get there till ten. This keeps happening. I know they had no control over what happened this morning. It was vandalism or theft, however you want to describe it. But it's a recurring problem. People's jobs are really at risk with this. They can't depend on the train service. Aaron O'Dearn apologised for delays of over an hour for commuters coming from Galway and elsewhere as they tried to deal with the latest robbery on their lines. And one of my colleagues went out uh, to see what the problem was and uh, managed to scare away um, the gang um, before they could take the cable. But unfortunately, the damage was done to the signalling system. The issue of the theft of cables and other precious metals is not just a problem for Erin Rod Erin. The ESB and other firms have lost millions of euros in robberies all around the country in the last few years. But a new company based in Dublin says an asset marking solution could well be the way to help Garthi trace the stolen cables and build in a new deterrent. Uh, it utilises the unique coding power of synthetic DNA. An example would be our colleagues in the UK are working with Network Rail on the High Speed 1 channel tunnel uh, rail link from London to the coast. Uh, over a 12-month period, they have successfully reduced cable theft by 82% and more importantly for commuters, uh, train delays by 86%. Irish Rail says the asset solution would be expensive to roll out, but the company behind it says it could work on black spots around the country where theft of copper is most common. Kira Malili, RTE News, Newbridge.